Hey, I'm looking at uh, NeoVim and I'm going to install it with Brew. So you need Brew installed. Let's uh, pump the font way up. So you need Brew. Brew Brew.sh. Go there and install it or look through my videos. To I think I have an old video that I need to re-record. Um, but check it out if you don't have Brew. Here we go. Neo Vim, the the hyper extensible Vim based text editor. It's all the rage. Um, I can't imagine why that is. I have not used it really, um, but I am familiar with Vim. I've just been using VS Code for a little while, so this shouldn't be too painful to get back into. Um, but I'll show you how to install it with Brew. Install. Uh, Neo Vim. I did this um, a few minutes ago, and I'll show you where I got. I hit a snag, <clears throat> and then I screwed up my video. And I'm gonna sh be able to um, show you what the problem was. So I just did a brew install NeoVim. It says it, 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 you know, running brew cleanup NeoVim. It's, it poured the cask. Um, but this is where I hit the snag NeoVim. And I was like, what gives? Um, and brew is installed in the slash home slash uh, Linux brew directory, which I have access to because it does it for you when you set up brew. It's awesome. Let's have a look in this directory. We got dot Linux brew. I'm gonna just bring down the font a tiny bit. Uh, tree dot Linux brew. No tree. Brew install tree. Fetching, downloading, pouring tree. Brew is awesome, I'm telling you. And now tree dot Linux brew. Whoa, it's huge. Of course, I knew that. Um, I actually looked in the bin directory within tr uh, dot Linux brew. So in here, tree bin. I didn't use such a big font when I was doing it myself, but um, hopefully, yeah, it looks cool. So I found the NeoVim area and notice right here, it's called NVim. N -Vim. These are sim links, of course, to the, uh, the sellers as Brew calls it. So sh long story short, the command is NVim. Voila, NVim is installed. And that's it for this one.